The city of Vancouver has completed its latest exercise to determine just how ready we are for a major seismic event, otherwise known as the big one. Now, two mock scenarios were set up here right next to the Canby Street Bridge to give first responders a face-to-face -face look at two very possible scenarios. This is supposed to simulate specifically the Canby Bridge collapsing and entrapping cars under the concrete. Um, what you can see is this is a slow and methodical heavy rescue process. Teams have to assess where the people are trapped, how they might get them, stabilize anything before they attempt to cut or move or, uh, or shift any of the concrete or the cars. It's really a chance to be uh, creative and think out of the box on how they're going to stabilize because no two collapses are ever the same. And we work under the premise that there's no heavy machinery available as well, so it's doing manual lifting using leverage uh, to move things like these huge concrete slabs. If they can't be moved, we have the, the tools to cut through them, to breach through them. Meanwhile, just steps away, there was a second scenario to give rescuers some face time with a different beast. A landslide or a rock slide. And within the pile are numerous vehicles, some that you can't see, and trapped patients in various states of, uh, of health. So in this case, there's uh, patients trapped by heavy boulders. And again, we work under the premise that we don't have heavy machinery available. Something like this is fairly likely for us to deploy to. Now, the city says it has made seismic improvements on a number of public buildings and infrastructure, including water, fire systems and bridges. But the expectation is exercises like this can help officials find gaps in plans. With every exercise and every actual event, communications always rises to the top is the biggest issue because it's going to take a while for good information to come into an emergency operations centre and a real event. Uh, and this morning, the exercise did a really good job of making that realistic. There were time delays on information coming in, which uh, forces all of our teams to flex all the different communication methods that we have, whether they're satellite phones or using humans for face-to-face -face communication, whatever it might be. Across Vancouver, over 600 city staff and volunteers helped respond to the fictional quake. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.